welcome to my uh, latest vlog and where am I right now? I'm uh, a lake called Lago de Boschetto which is in northern Italy. It's around 40 minutes northeast of Turin. It's September 2022. Um, due to Covid uh, we had to delay this booking um, and, and rebook it, reschedule it um, and it was meant to be originally six of us plus a couple of our wives um, but obviously because of moving things around it's actually only now three of us. So uh, me and a friend and my wife and his wife we, we drove down on the Friday yesterday um, and we stopped off um, basically we drove from Calais to uh, through into Switzerland into Lausanne by Lake Geneva we stayed there we had a lovely hotel there nice and clean underground secure car park and with all our gear left in in the cars and that um, and then went out and had a meal etc last night so that was that was lovely that was um, we left Calais uh, around I think about half seven eight o'clock in the morning yesterday and and got into Turin around three o'clock in the afternoon so you know a, a nice leisurely drive and it didn't take it you know too hard or any strenuous or anything like that not like some of my journeys where I've slogged it through 15 16 hours without stopping so yeah nice nice comfortable drive um, and then got up this morning we had um, breakfast in the hotel checked out we left at nine o'clock and um, um, we stopped off um, in a little town just outside from this lake, Creta, um, where we picked up a friend uh, about an hour ago, so 12 o'clock, so basically three hours. We went through the Swiss Alps, through um, St Bernard Tunnel and back down, obviously the Italian Alps, it's absolutely beautiful scenery, absolutely fantastic, all the winding roads and that. Um, and uh, he was waiting in the bar, he'd got a taxi from the uh, Turin airport and to the local bar and he was sat there by the side of the road with a nice cold beer and obviously we called up to say we're, we're getting close so we had we all had a cold beer ready for us as soon as we arrived that was lovely we had that caught up had a chat and then uh, picked him up and, and carried him on round so me and my friend uh, had all his gear in our car so he just flew over from Stansted to Turin via Ryanair so nice and cheap about 150 quid time it all right I'm sure he could have probably got it a bit cheaper um, and yeah, so we, we arrived, we've had a, a walk round. Now I organised it all. I've I've fished in a couple I've fished in Italy a couple of times before. So I was quite relaxed and I really wanted my friends to catch and have a uh, you know, have a good chance. Um, I think it's one of those waters where you get, you know, you should have plenty of action, etc. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Um, but I wanted them, but they wouldn't have it. It wouldn't have it. it was meant to have had a Euros uh, 2020 sweep strike and that, that's how, how delayed this, this trip's been. Um, but obviously we've, we've lost three. So we've just done a draw, one to three. Thankfully I came out last, which is what I wanted. Um, so my two friends, uh, they got one and two. Uh, Danny's gone in the middle zone and uh, dell has gone on the right and I'm on, on the left. So I'm quite happy and, and they're happy too. So we'll see what happens. We don't know yet and we've got to get out there, see what the, uh, what the features are, the depths and, and stuff like that. But really looking forward to it. I'm hoping we'll have a few fish, maybe some 30s and 40s. It's, um, it's one of those waters that you book through carp specialist. It's a lake exclusive with up to six anglers. Um, it's all secure, fenced off. CCTV, you've even got a couple of guard dogs in here which, which stay here. Uh, if you go online, um, you'll see some pictures of caravans and things like that. That's the old owner. They've moved on and gone, so it's all been cleared out. It's lovely and it's, you know, they go around with the mowers and, and so on and that. They really look after it, uh, Marco and Adrian. Um, they have bait, um, some tackle and that that um, Marco can arrange. Marco used to uh, own a tackle shop, so he, he can sort out whatever you need if you don't have it, if you're running out of PVA, pellet, bait, whatever, he can go and sort it. He'll e either have it or he can, he can go and get it for us. Um, food as well, um, they can do food on site. It's um, 15 euros a head and just let them know what you sort of fancy and uh, Adrian will cook that up. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to that. We're probably uh, going to have some food off uh, Adriana in the week. Uh, you can also go to the towns. There's uh, Strombino, uh, about five minutes away. There's a couple of supermarkets there. There's a co-op and a Lidl. Um, 
bars and pizzerias and things like that. Um, if you want to, you can drive into Turin, like say 40, 45 minutes. Um, Milan's probably about an hour. If you want to get away from the lake and do a day trip, it's really set up for you know families, have a bit of fun, actions, partners, couples, whatever, whatever you fancy. Um, so that's what that's what the lake and and. Uh, the facilities about so the facilities in the lodge there is a lodge here there's two showers and um, you've got a load of areas for you know getting changed cleaned up washing all your pots and pans there's um, a ladies and gents toilet separate one now jam was um, insistent on that which is good for all your partners uh, there is a fridge freezer for all your food and drink etc and then there's a bait freezer as well and you've got also your euro chargers so get your your converters if you're coming from the uk um, trying to think what else there is. Uh, oh, I guess on to the stock, the fish. Why, why else? What are we here for? We're here to catch some garp, eh? Um, so, currently there's around 400 fish. Uh, Marco has stocked, Marco's run it for the last five years. He's put in an additional 65 mirrors. It was mainly commons, so he believes there's probably around 400 in total now. Um, I think the biggest mirror is around 50 pounds. Uh, 25, 26 kilos, something like that, if I got my maths right. And then the biggest common is 31 kilos. That last came out December 21, 31.7 kilos, or about 68, 69 pounds. So that's a good old beast. Um, lots, lots of carp. Well, the Italians do like their koi, so there is a good number of koi. Ghosties, orange ones, orange and whites and blacks, some fantails, things like that. There's also some grass carp or a muir, as they call them. I think they go to mid upper 40s as well, um, or 20 plus kilos. At the moment, there's around 12 fish that will break the 20 kilo mark or 44 pounds. Um, so it's not a venue for lots and lots of big, huge fish, but it's more about um, action and having a bit of fun and enjoyment and just chilling and relaxing with friends, basically have a few beers or a bottle of Prosecco and a bit of pasta etc so that's what we're looking forward to so we've got a week ahead and I can't wait I can't wait for me my two friends who've never been fishing in Italy before to have their first fish it's going to be uh, I said, I'm going to be buzzing when they do that so yeah so welcome to Borchetto It's uh, Sunday morning, first morning of the trip. One of those lovely late summer misty mornings on the lake. And I've got my second fish here, just a fraction over 30 pounds, 13 kilos. It's a lovely mirror. Let's see if I hold it up. Angry one, as you can see. Oh, it's a bit agitated, but we'll try and hold her up. There we go. 30 pound, four ounces. Came to a couple of grains of plastic corn over a load of um, frenzied hemp seed, um, pellets, maize and uh, complex tea boilies. So, yeah, that is one lovely fish. Another Italian 30. We're in a, a lake called Lago Boschetto, uh, just, just northeast of Turin. And we've got the, uh, the Alps behind us. Uh, no, not behind us, in front of us. Um, just behind a row of trees. We can just see the peaks of them. But, uh, I'll quickly show you the other side. And then we'll... Slipping back to uh, join his friends. <laughs> and I'm getting a soaking. Clean shorts and socks. 
I think I'm going to be needing another one already. Oh, there we are. <sighs> Cracking 30 pound Italian mirror. Well, it's Sunday evening, 24 hours or just over, and it's fish number four, and my second 30 of the trip. Uh, there's three of us on the lake, uh, and this is, I think, number 17 between the three of us, and uh, I think it's the fourth over 30. Anyway, another typical, lovely, long Italian. Mirror. And this one is bang on the 30 nose. Fall into a double jumbo size tiger nut. Oh, isn't that a lovely fish? Absolutely beautiful. Monday morning. Oh, I've got another lovely. Lovely Boschetto, low 30 mirror. It's the third 30 for me. I was quite, I'm quite happy with that. I didn't think I'd be having quite so many nice ones like this. It's got some lovely, lovely scales on its belly there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, oh, I'm happy with this. So on the long rod, two pieces of corn, plastic corn, fished on a 360 over a load of complex tea boilies, whole and crushed hemp, a few bits of maize, and some pellet in there. It's one thirty-two and a half pound. Hard fighting Boschetto mirror. Fantastic oh what a beauty. Whew. Yeah, five fish and three thirties. Yes, it really is. Oh, it's been a fantastic trip. <laughs> and it's only Monday. Can you hold it up a little bit higher? No. No, that's fine, that's fine, Di, don't worry. Beautiful.
might make a little bolt now and again. Yeah. Be ready for it. And try following with a rod. Mm -hmm. If not, you know the score, you've got to try putting them in the net. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just keep the rods that way a little bit now. That's it. You see how you're pulling them round? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right. That's he's tiring. You see how slow that was? Yeah. Is that another mirror? Just keep his head up, try to keep his head up. That's it, keep try pulling, just lift the rod, back. lift the rod. Well, no, he wants to go, he wants to go, right, now keep pulling him. <laughs> yes, Caroline! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a nice one. Oh, it looks like the twin of the one you had, Di. It literally looks the same. Literally. It is the same. Oh, oh, it's Pull it that way a little bit. Yeah, it's not you, just the rod. Yeah, you've got to move it around. Right, don't pull its head off and just try and guide it now. Set a net, that's it. Under that line, that's perfect, that is. Keep off, fish. Come on, this way, this way. So it's caught in the other line, so we can't pull too hard because the hook will go. Come on. Then go for a minute. That's it, and then yeah, he's caught on the other ones, and Danny's caught on it as well. Can I wind? Keep wind down. Yeah, wind, wind down. down. And now lift. Wind down. Get it. Right, scoop. Come on. 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 Wind down, just yeah. wind down, and slowly ease that tip up. And that's it, slowly. just lift it up, just keep lifting the rod, just keep lifting that's the rod. It. Try and keep its head up. Now. Keep lifting. Just keep walking. Wind that slope behind you, Carol. Just wind down a little bit, you're a bit too far, just wind down. Lift the rod. That's it. Wind, wind, wind down and come forwards a bit now. Yeah, just lift the rod, that's it, yeah. Right, keep, keep it coming, keep it coming up, it's out of range a little bit. Uh, oh, don't, please don't. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. He's, he's caught on the other line, he knows what he's doing. Fucking bang with all three of us. No, no, I think so. That's why he's, it's hard to get in, because he's, he's caught around the other line, he's not getting close enough. Yeah, well done, Dale. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> well done, Dale. <laughs> well done, hun. <laughs> That's a lovely fish. That is a real lovely fish. That will make a great photo of you two. <laughs> Look at me done. Here we go. I'm touching it. <laughs> Caroline's first Italian 30. Looks like your right hand. Is that good? Yeah. Happy with that? Well done, sweetie. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I guess... Uh, have a quick tour of the lake and the facilities. Um, so these two lovely dogs is Bianca and Fifi, um, and they will accompany you and keep keep the uh, facility on guard all the time. They never leave you. That's good. And this is the uh, entrance to the lake. Hey, hello. Mm. Oh, come on. I'm going for a walk. 
come down to this track. Nope, the anchor's gone back to the gate. Just keeping guard. Good old dog. So this is swim one. It's, it's lovely and open, spacious, sort of flat. Got swim two over there. You've got some CCTV up on the pole. A wi Fi box there as well. Swim three over there where Danny is. Swim four where I am. And then this is the, uh, the lodge and the facilities. If I cover it, probably back to front first of all. So if you need any tackle or if uh, Adriana or, or Marco are going to cook for you, then they'll. they'll the kitchen and that's in there so uh, and obviously bits of tackle on that they've also got another place um, off-site where they, they've got other you know sacks of pellets and boilies and things like that that they'll bring over for you um, here's the uh, this is the ladies and the gents quick uh, sink to wash your hands and that it's the gents and whatever really nice yeah easily bring your family and that here and if we go into um, here I'll switch the light on so you've got a uh, bait freezer there uh, and then obviously for your fruit you've got a fridge and freezer there so all nice and clean stocked up as you can tell And then uh, you've got a little oven here. So you can cook stuff that. I actually thought it was a microwave at first, but no, it's actually a, uh, an oven. And then obviously if you want uh, little fresh coffees and that, just put a euro in. And uh, that'll, do, uh, that'll give you a pod for a fresh coffee. And then you pop it in here. And then the showers. Got a couple of showers, got a sink here for washing all your stuff up, scrubbing your teeth and that. And then you've got two nice clean showers there. Yeah, that's the facilities basically. Can't go wrong. Back to the lake. They used to have caravans and that here. You might see pictures online if you have a look at the lake and that, they've all gone now, it's all been cleared. Um, and Marco, Adriana, they live off site. Got a house just up the road. Uh, and they've got another lake now, which should be opening soon. I think next year, Jungle Lake. Uh, similar sort of size. It's sort of, um, I guess sort of moon shaped. Nine acres, moon shaped. The largest fish, common. Uh, I think it's about 68, 69 pounds. But yeah. Yeah, that's Borchetto. Well, it's that time of the week, unfortunately. It's Friday evening and uh, session is coming to a close. Got those last few hours, all rod set, traps in place, hoping for that, that last night biggie. But um, really, I should have a recap on how this week's gone for us all. And uh, it's really sort of done exactly and gone how, you know, I hoped. Um, Dell's had, God knows how many, 30 odd fish, um, up to low 40s. I'm not sure how many, five, six, 30s out of that. Um, Danny's had oh, 13, I think, 14 fish, including three or four 30s, up to 38 common. And myself, um, coming up at the rear, I've had uh, nine fish, including four thirties. And Di, uh, Dell's better half, she's had her first carp of 28 pounds. Sadly, she lost the second uh, yesterday, which is a bit of a shame, hook pull. 
Um, and then my better half, Caroline, she's managed her first carp uh, of uh, 27 pounds, and then she's gone and had her first 30, of 34 pounds. So to be honest, for all of us, that really, you know, sort of made our trip. Um, Di and Caroline, you know, playing and landing their first, first carp. Um, Caroline came close in Poland um, a few years ago with me, but I had to sort of help out at the end and go out in the boat because it got snagged in reeds. So that was the first time sort of played and landed her carp, her first carp. So yeah, it's just, it's been fantastic. We've really enjoyed it. Um, I, I think, you know, I have to say thank you uh, to Adriana and um, Marco for being absolutely wonderful hosts. The food was beautiful and Marco, do anything, you know, pretty much anything he can, as long as he's not busy working on his other lake or at home, etc. But pretty much he'll do anything. Um, go to the shops, prepare food, help you out with uh, the swims, the features, the baiting up, the types of rigs, anything to try and help you catch a fish and enjoy your stay, you know. Uh, it, the venue, the type of fishing is perfect for a social with friends, with partners and that's exactly why we booked it for that reason and it's it's li lived up to that and more it's we've just honestly it really has been probably our best trip no massive monsters no 50s 60s 70s but um and the fish do go to upper 60s but that doesn't matter we've just had such a good time such a good laugh um in in beautiful countryside in northern italy can't quite see it but Somewhere around there is the Alps. If I move my finger, there, that's the Alps. You know, you're just, you're waking up to that vista. Oh, it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, and I think we'll return at some point in a few years. Like I say, and, and Marco's really um, been working hard on this lake. He's got another lake called Jungle Lake opening next year. Um, so yeah, I. I think it's 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 got a good future. It's got probably 400 fish, something like that, 300, 350 originals, um, some big old short stocky Italian mirrors, and quite a lot of hard fighting commons. It's unbelievable the fights the fish, and you probably hear it on so many vlogs, so many places, but they really do fight on here. They just do not give up. Um, I don't know what, what's in the pellets, but whatever it is, um, adrenaline or whatever, yeah, they, they fight, fight every single last ounce they've got. And then when they're on the map, they don't stop. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just been fantastic. Um, sadly, obviously, we have to pack up in the morning and we've got a long old drive, 13 hours. Um, Marco's gonna take um, friend Danny back to uh, Torino or Turin Airport, 40 minutes away, so that's really nice of him. Um, it's possible, obviously, if you inquire through carp specialist, um, it's, it's possible if you get a group of mates, maybe one or two can fly and the rest of you drive with all the gear, but obviously check, check out in advance. It may not be possible every week that he can do that. I don't want to guarantee things that you know, Marco can't do, but we're lucky he can do that for us uh, tomorrow. And he also did it for uh, an English angler last week as well. There was a group of three anglers um, last week and one of those also flew in, just the same as us. So, so that's, that's really nice of Marco to do that. There's, there's no sort of gear or tackle or anything that you can hire, but obviously, you know, you can still fly over and come if, if your friends are bringing all the gear with you. You know, it gives you that, that option. Um, so yeah, really, like I say, check out the, uh, the carp specialist site for more information, the stock, the size of fish. Um, and, and I think, yeah, with the, with the young fish that's coming on, as I said, there's 400. Marco stocked in 65 fish. Um, they are of a Hungarian strain. It's really hard to get um, Italian carp of any sort of quality or size. It really, you know, you can get some koi and things like that, but getting mirrors, uh, they, they struggle really. They can get small commons for match ponds and that, but you know, a bit small in here with some of the black bass and pike and things like that. So they have to, they have to go elsewhere, but they're growing on quick. Um, I think he said to me um, that he stocked them in three years ago at four to 12 kilos. So up to about 25, 26 pounds. Um, and they're already doing upper thirties so yeah, um, I had four of them and they, they were all over 30 pounds. 
So yeah, um, Dale's had a couple of 30s, Dan's had a couple of 30s. My wife Caroline's 34 was another one of those. So obviously, give it a few more years, those are gonna be pushing through to 40 odd pounds. And uh, yes, it stands in good stead. We didn't have any grasses this week, which is a good thing for us, but obviously, we know that um, people do like the grasses. They go to, I think, 50 odd pounds. There is quite a few grasses in here. Several, you know, I think 25, 26 kilo is, is the biggest grassy in here um, on the Jungle Lake. Anyone who does like grasses, um, that's currently got one at 37 kilos. That is huge, 80, 80 odd pounds or whatever um, grass cup. So, yeah. You know, Definitely going to need to look out for that one when that appears on Carp Specialist website. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if there's anything else really. Um, I guess, yeah, actually, yeah, there is. So we've had about 60 fish between the three of us. I, th I think that's the sort of, I guess, average, maybe just slightly above average. I guess 30 to 60 is what you should be sort of looking for. I think the best week, at least under Marco's helm, has been 90 odd fish um, in a week. So that gives you an idea of, you know, what is possible which would be yeah i don't know how many anglers that was you can have up to six people you know but that's 20 fish each or whatever you know that, that can give you an idea of the week that you can have on here if you hit it right and it's mixed a mixture of tactics so dale's been using his bait boat to great effect it's not the thing that i like but obviously see how he uses it how um, and how he puts it into you know good effect 30 or fish it just shows you know he he's caught more than me and Danny combined with the use of that just wherever you're seeing fish showing bubbling it's out there dropping it it's away 10 minutes later doing that all week you know, um, Danny he's been casting and spawning going around on the bike and where he's fishing opposite margin just catapulting bait in I love that sort of fishing I think he's had 13 14 fish I think he's lost four something like that so Again, I think that's good. And then myself, I've been using a boat with two rods, I'm going to the far margin and putting bait in around old, you know, European style, dropping the rig down there, putting some bait around it and then boating, boating um, the rig back, filling it down, you know, going out with the rod and, and, and sort of swinging it in, dropping it, putting a bit of bait around there and then bringing it back. And then the third rod um, casting out onto a feature close in and spawning that. I started out, I baited it up with a boat. First night was easy and then I've been spawning it since. And all those tactics have worked. Various different rigs from um, corn, boilies, snowmans, tiger nuts. Not any problems with any craze. Uh, Marco said there's three or four spots where there can be problems with craze, but we've not had any problems, so I guess we've not fished those spots. Um, you, you do see them in the margins, you know, but that's European fishing, they're everywhere, aren't they? But not a problem, you know, we've just been fishing boilies out the bag, not an issue. Um, so hopefully that gives you an idea of the venue, the sort of um, our approach what we've had and, and what a great time we've had. It's been fantastic. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog um, as much as we've enjoyed our week. And until next time, thanks folks. Okay.